okay so now going back uh, we have here our uh, last part so we said we have the try section and we have the catch section and the finally section just to make sure that the difference is clear the try section the advantage of it is uh, it's going to try to execute these three statements that we have between the begin and end of the try section the nice thing about this try section is attached uh, to it a concept called catch uh, this is for exception handling in case of a problem uh, happening during the execution of any one of these three lines then we're going to run into trouble and if we don't have a try and catch basically the system is going to crash and uh, crash and it will show uh, a page that has failed in loading uh, and in reality in the real world projects this is not good now uh, the advantage of try is that if this fails then the catch section basically is gonna uh, kick off and 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 instead of failing it's gonna come to this instead of failing it's gonna come to this part and show uh, and do whatever you have as code that's between the begin and the end of the catch section now here we are throwing the error message so that we know what's going on if that error happened to be an error that related to the SQL connection if it was a non SQL uh, error related then we'd have to catch uh, we have we have to have another cache section but this is to have another cache section but this is out of the scope of this example uh, we have the finally section the finally section it's called finally means it's gonna run at the end and it's gonna run regardless of the situation of the try whether it succeeds or fails uh, the final session will always run and the nice thing about this is that usually you put the things that you uh, see it's a must to run to make sure for example your application is consistent it's not causing memory leaks or or you you're kind of creating variables you're kind of resetting the, them here because you're basically done with the transaction so like in, in in this case I'm opening the connection I'm all closing this here to make sure any, every connection we open is going to be always closed to avoid memory leaks and to avoid going out of capacity and in, in connections for example so that's just basically the, the this concept now the last the last step is basically we want to run the page and so that we're going to build this solution and we get as you see succeeded and now we're just gonna go ahead and run the page and uh, make sure it inserts records correctly and then we'll be done with this insert uh, example